creative with this morning's breakfast. I feel like a protein shake, but I didn't bring a protein shaker or a ball or anything. So I'm using this bottle. I've made a makeshift funnel and I'm trying to get it in the bottle because I won't be able to mix it in a normal cup. The lengths you go for a good protein shake in the morning. Right. Oh my gosh, it just looks like a it looks like a ball today. And I'm gonna get bigger. And that is going to be my breakfast on the go because we're about to go to a beach. What are you having? Pan by Taj. So we're planning on going out for most of the day because we're going to beach hop around here. And being pregnant and just being myself, I'm always snacking. So this whole bag pretty much is just full of fruit. We've got blueberries, strawberries, some more strawberries and fruit and nut mix in there. Apples and celery and hummus. Yeah, my mom literally came over and was like, Sarah, I know you. Make sure you pack lots of snacks so you don't complain. And then I'm bringing my big water bottle with chia seeds in it as well. So they're going to be my snacks. And then I'm sure I'll have a proper lunch later on in the day. How do you open this? Ugh. Mom, what are you having? <laughs> what are you having? Where is it? Where I'm is having it? my body blue. Good. Oh, next to the Milo. Mom, what are you doing? The Milo needs to chuck it out. <laughs> okay, don't have body bloom and then back it up with Milo, okay? I'm very proud of you though. Okay. It's just like a really nice sweet drink. So my parents are staying in their caravan and then me and Emma are staying up in our cabin. And we've been in that cabin literally since we were like seven years old or something. So I think Talia is coming up maybe tomorrow. That's my little sister. Kurt is going to come up today and then leave tonight because he has so much travel to do tomorrow and the next day for work. And then I think Em's boyfriend Will is also going to come. Dad is shirtless, looking <laughs> fab. Dad's just trying to compete with me with the baby boy. Oh, I just got to get my Sarah's Day glasses as well. Oh, really? <laughs> you just want to be me. I do. Yeah. If you really want to be me, you got to get some peril dermatitis up in there. <laughs> My rash, oh my gosh, it's like going crazy again. Two days ago. I have a thing down here. Yeah, it can go around your mouth or oh. your nose. My rash, it, like it goes good and then it goes bad. It really depends what I eat. And yeah, when I have mango and pineapple, it goes crazy. If I wear makeup, it goes crazy. So I wore makeup yesterday, which is why it's like really red and inflamed today, if you can see. So I'm hoping if I spend the whole day in the ocean, I should come home and the rash has subsided a lot because the ocean is 100% the best thing. And what I was saying before about our little fruit pack is oh, yeah. that is like one of my number one tips to being healthy and staying healthy and not resenting your healthy lifestyle is I'm always organized. That's a lie. Not always organized, but I always try to prepare myself with lots of snacks so that when everyone's like passing around the chips and the biscuits, I have like my apples and my bananas and my fruit and nut mix. Mum, have you brought healthy snacks? Yeah. Apple, almond butter. Oh, very good. Pears, rice crackers. Yeah. That's I could okay. cut up carrot and celery, but I can't bother. Anybody Rice got crackers? Time. And a pack of salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> no! Yeah, that, has, that's why you has. look pregnant. <laughs> It's gonna be squishy. Yeah. Yes, I want to sit in the front. Really? Oh my gosh, I love being pregnant. This is the best. Everyone's so nice to me, and they really don't have to be. Suckers in the back. Do we all have Sarah's Day glasses on? Oh. oh sorry. I <laughs> this is you getting G'd up. like snow sand. Good, how are you? You tired, Cody? Yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit tired, but that's okay. Hi, girl. Hi. Kurt's only coming and going. You're going to be here for like... i got to go in like two hours. Yeah, and it took you two hours to get here because he's got to get on a plane in a couple of hours. One of my favorite things to do ever, and especially when pregnant, is put goggles on and go in the ocean. It's so fun. Because like, I like to see the sea life. I like to see the floor. It's just so fun. So I think I'm going to put my goggles on, get the GoPro, and embrace my inner mermaid, a.k.a. whale. Whale vibes. <laughs>
the vest. Kurt, was it worth the two hour drive down to be here for three hours and now to go two hours home? Yeah, of course it was. Rash is looking red, but better. I pretty much ate Ready? that whole yeah. snack pack. And what, we're going to have a games night tonight? Yeah, I've got Cards Against Humanity. Great. And What the Meme. Yeah. What the Meme. Uh, I haven't played that. that. My camera's about to die, but oh, I forgot to bring talk to you when we get back. And I'm back in my humble abode and what you see behind me is what we like to call baby prep. So this week I'm 37 weeks pregnant. Now they consider me terms totally ready to go. My due date isn't until three weeks because your due date is 40 weeks. But yeah, he could pretty much come any time now. My mum gave birth early so I hope I'm like her and I go a little bit early just because I'm so excited. So I actually got home two days ago. I just spent the whole time washing baby clothes, washing baby swaddles, trying to organize the house, looking for my bag under all of this mess. Bye. Where's my sunglasses? Going to one of my last physio appointments of the pregnancy. Oh, I can't run down these stairs anymore. I can feel his head like jabbing into my cervix slash my bladder every single step. And I started going to the physio around 26 weeks, I would say. By the way, I go to Flow Physio Co. in Sutherland and I see Charlotte, who is absolutely amazing. So if you're local, I definitely recommend her because not only is she a physio who specializes in women's health, which is what I was after, but she's also a Pilates instructor. So yeah, my first appointment with her was to find out what was wrong with my pelvis because I had vagina pain and I felt like someone had punched me in the vagina. And then after going to her, I found out it was SPD or pelvic girdle pain. It gives you pain and it gives you a thing called lightning cramp. I was just doing exercises that were making it worse pretty much so really had to take a step back and stop training like that And so now it's just been a process of letting go of my ego and just training in the gym How my physio has told me to train so for the past 10 weeks I've seen her a few times we've done physio we've done Pilates and she's given me a bunch of exercises That are safe for me to do and aren't going to aggravate my pelvis and also she did examine me in my pelvic floor because It's always good to know I think when you're pregnant if you have an overactive pelvic floor a totally fine pelvic floor or an underactive pelvic floor and that's when people are doing like kegels and stuff I would always recommend going to get your pelvic floor assessed before you start tightening your vagina all the time and doing kegels because you could have an overactive pelvic floor and you're just making it tighter and tighter and tighter she said mine was pretty much fine but if anything it was a little bit overactive so I really had to focus on relaxing my body doing breathing exercises and letting my pelvic floor just chill this will be all over in three weeks so I have a bunch of videos I want to make document this process and this journey as much as possible so I feel like I'm on a time limit now and I need to get everything in before he's out in the world and I'm no longer Pergy Sezzy. Hey how are you? I want to see if you can dry up your pelvic floor without getting tail. On the breath out. Think about having your hands like on your belly wide and I want your belly to be expanding out. So you're getting that pelvic floor connection. Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all. Perfect. Okay, good. So with you, I don't want to do the max hold because I don't want to bring back that overactivity. Mm -hmm. We just want to get that connection with the breath and the pelvic floor. Does that just show me I want to give birth kind of more like that? Yeah, to open up? Yeah. It always starts rolling when I do belly rests. <laughs> so we're going to do 20 at a time. Oh. Now, forward. Do I need to yeah, press out? Yeah. The whole time? Just once. So when you switch on, you're pulling out, hold one, and then come back in. I would have never thought this would be an ab workout for me. <laughs> this is like hardcore abs. Yeah. Because we're just engaging the pelvic floor and then letting it relax. And then when I'm in bed, lay on my side and just do the Yeah, breathing. that belly breathing is fine. Cause I'll do this at the gym. Like, yeah. I would do this as a shoulder ab workout. Yeah. Seriously. But this is what's going to help you after birth. So that's all I want you to be doing. Oh, easy. Everything's good. And get my epi note. So I just left the physio and good news guys, I'm so, so happy. She did an internal exam on my pelvic floor and she was so happy with me because it's totally relaxed. So it's not overactive, it's not underactive. She said it's nice and soft and relaxed and hopefully lets the baby come out. But I need to crank this aircon. Oh my goodness, I'm a hot person already and being pregnant, I'm like uncomfortably hot all the time.
I feel like this is my new style. This is what you guys are going to see me in pretty much every day once I've had the baby. I'm in love with robes. I have no clothes on under this, but it's because I'm always oily. Speaking of, I'll show you my little skincare routine because I've had so many questions about stretch marks. But we have our midwife appointment in like an hour and it's where we talk through our birth plan and everything. So I will talk to you guys about that in a different dedicated vlog. But I'll take you guys into my ensuite, aka my skincare mecca. So this is like my face skincare section or my facial products, which by the way, I'm pretty sure I found a big perioral dermatitis contributor. My rash started getting really red again when I started eating the dates. So like I told you guys in my cookie video, I have to have six dates a day to get my body ready for labor. We'll chat about it in the next vlog. It's annoying because I just put makeup on so you can't really see, but it was so red and raw and I think it's because I'm having too much sugar. So anyway, we'll talk about that another day. But yeah, skincare cupboard and then down here is like my body cupboard. And I I've been using heaps of different oils. I just kind of like mix it up. However, one that I like to use, especially if I'm going out because I'm kind of using it as a perfume as well, are the LeBang body oils. And I've been using these for years, but they've just come in extra handy now that I'm always oily and trying not to get stretch marks. I'm really bad. I feel like I have every flavor. I have like lime, watermelon, coconut, vanilla, strawberry. Should I do coconut or vanilla? Let's do vanilla. Cause I like cake and it reminds me of cake. So let's talk stretch marks. This is my belly now at 37 weeks. I have no stretch marks and my skin still feels really soft and supple but I do think it's important to note that even before getting pregnant I would moisturize every single day and usually that's an oil so as you can see a little goes a long way I probably put a little bit too much on but that's okay I've got like an hour for it to absorb into my belly look at that that just looks like a shiny bowling ball. I feel weird that you guys are like talking to my stomach. Seeing as though I was already oiling my whole body before I got pregnant, I didn't find it that hard to make a more conscious effort to oil my belly and oil my hips and my boobs. However, in the first and second trimester, I was doing it morning and night. I was so vigilant. And now to be completely honest, I normally just do it once a day, just because in the morning, I don't really like to oil up before I go to the gym. So nowadays I just do it after my nighttime shower. And like I said, because this one smells nice, I also put it on my shoulders and my chest and then you don't have to wear perfume especially when I wear the watermelon people always say I smell really nice and I've actually still got my OG discount code for LeBang if you want to use it which I've had for like three years or something I've also been using some of their scrubs in the shower so that plus the oils is a really nice combo and then on top of oiling my boobs my belly my hips my thighs my butt I've also been doing a bunch of different things that are supposed to help reduce your chances of getting stretch marks as well increasing my water intake which is just good in pregnancy in general so I've been making Making sure I'm really hydrated because that's the thing hydrated skin is more elastic and it can stretch better and hopefully not give you stretch marks and then I've been having loads of healthy fats and good sources of collagen in my diet because again that's going to help the elasticity and quality of my skin and again hashtag YouTube disclaimer I'm not saying stretch marks are bad I just personally don't really want them but if I get them it's fine like it is what it is I just want to have a healthy pregnancy a healthy baby I want to be healthy and I want everything to go smoothly but if I can avoid stretch marks while I'm at it why not and I get loads of questions about it. So like I said, today's midwife appointment is going through my birth plan, which is like so exciting slash surreal to me, but I will be doing a dedicated video talking about my birth plan and what my hopes and dreams are for that day. And I know there is no guarantee it's going to happen like that. And I'm 95% sure it won't, but it's always good to have like a game plan. So your midwives and your care team know what you're striving for. Yes, I am going to do a dedicated video on that. And also I need to pack my hospital bag like tonight. My midwives thought I did it last week, but I didn't because I was really busy. So I feel like they're going to ask me in today's appointment and I'm going to say no because I have a conscience and I can't lie. But anyway, I feel like I'm going on a tangent. I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every three days. Me and baby boy say goodbye. I could literally blow any second now. Like this could be my last day in the life vlog and I don't even know it. Every feeling I get, I'm convinced it's labor. Like if I get a bit of a period pain or if I get like some Braxton Hicks, which is like your belly tightening and practicing for labor, I'm like convinced that I should have packed my hospital bag last week and I'm an idiot, but I'm ready. I'm so ready. See ya.